everyone, I'm Dr. Sheena Sunil with Southeast Veterinary Neurology. And today I wanna to talk about something that can be overlooked as our family pets get older. Cognitive dysfunction syndrome affects both dogs and cats and is something we are seeing more often as pets are living longer. As pets age, they start to slow down and many people assume that things like confusion, changes in behavior, or sleeplessness at night are normal. But these can actually be signs of neurobehavioral disorder known as cognitive dysfunction syndrome, or CDS. Similar to Alzheimer's in humans, CDS occurs when the brain starts to deteriorate, especially in the areas responsible for memory and learning. What are the signs to watch for? You might notice your pet starting to wander around aimlessly as if lost or pacing and vocalizing at night when they used to be asleep. Some pets may become more anxious as well or irritable, and some might stop interacting as much with family members. Pets might forget previously learned commands or even soil the house when they were once perfectly trained. Signs to watch for are disorientation, sleep pattern changes, anxiety, interaction changes, learning changes, and house soiling. Additionally, similar to Alzheimer's patients who often struggle with movement disorders like restlessness, difficulty walking, and tremors, neurological deficits have also been observed in pets with cognitive dysfunction syndrome. These changes come on gradually beginning somewhere around 10 years of age and are easily to chalk up to just getting old, but it's worth having your pet examined by a veterinary specialist. While the initial symptoms are subtle, they will progressively worsen, exceeding what is typical of a normal aging. What contributes to cognitive dysfunction syndrome? As pets age, their brains go through changes, such as becoming more vulnerable to damage from free radicals shrinking in size, changes in the white matter, and the buildup of a protein that creates a toxic environment for neurons. As the neurons responsible for transmitting information in the brain die off, this affects your pet's ability to process information, causes those cognitive behavioral changes, and sometimes neurological deficits you're seeing. Diagnosing CDS isn't exactly straightforward as there's no single test for it. Instead, it's diagnosed by the clinical signs, information from the owner, and ruling out other possible reasons for the symptoms. Physical and neurological exams, blood work, urine, and advanced diagnostics such as an MRI and cerebrospinal fluid analysis can exclude conditions with similar symptoms. For example, hearing loss, kidney disease, incontinence, and brain tumors. So what can we do about CDS? Unfortunately, there's no cure, but there are things we can do to help slow its progression and improve your pet's quality of life. First, a stimulating and healthy environment is key. Regular exercise, new toys, and engaging with your pet can keep the brain active. Additionally, special diets and high antioxidants and fatty acids, along with certain supplements, work to support cognitive function. Just like any other muscle, activity and nutrition are critical for brain health. There are also medications which have shown some benefit in protecting neurons, improving brain function, and slowing cognitive decline. Depending on the specific symptoms your pet is experiencing, we might also prescribe medications to address anxiety or sleep disturbances. And something that's often overlooked is making the home more accessible for your pet. For example, Adding night lights can help them navigate in the dark if their vision is starting to decline. If they're having accidents indoors, strategically placing potty pads or litter boxes can help. It's important to remember that cognitive dysfunction syndrome is a progressive condition. That means the symptoms will worsen over time, but early intervention can make a big difference in slowing that progression. In closing, I just want to emphasize the importance of paying attention to any changes in your pet's behavior as they age. We all expect some slowing down, but if your pet seems disoriented or overly anxious, don't just assume it's a normal part of aging. Talk to a veterinary neurologist. There's a lot we can do to help your pet live a happier and more comfortable life, even as they grow older.